Just like Ariadne, the daughter of Knossos, lay fainting on the barren shores while Theseus' ship vanished. Or just like Andromeda, Cepheus' child lay recumbent in her first sleep once free from the harsh rocks. Nor any less like one exhausted at the endless Thracian dance having fallen onto Apidanian grass, breathing in that tender silence. She seemed just like that to me. Cynthia, her head resting on those unquiet hands. When along came I, deeply in wine, dragging along my drunken feet, while the boys were snuffing out the late night torches, my senses not yet totally dazed, I tried to approach her, pressing gently against the posts of the bed. And there I was, seized by a twin passion, here amor, there lust, both cruel gods urging me to attempt to slip my arm beneath her as she lay, and to snatch away from her eager kisses lifting my slow hand. Yet I dared not disturb my mistress's rest, fearing her proven fierceness in a quarrel. Instead I stood there, gazing intently, just as Argus did on Io's new-horned brow. Why, just now I was freeing the garland from my forehead and placing it onto your temple, Cynthia. Just now I delight in your loosely fallen locks. Now I secretly slip apples into your open hands, bestowing all these gifts unto your ungrateful sleep, repeatedly breathed from my bowed body. And whenever you, stirring occasionally, would sigh to yourself, I stood transfixed, fearing false omens. Please let not some strange vision bring you fear, or that another forced you to be his against your will. When at last the moon, gliding along past distant windows, the moon about to set, with lingering light, opened her closed eyes by its tender rays. And she spoke thus, propped up with one elbow on the soft bed, she said, Has another's hostility again driven you out, her doors sealed, compelling you thus to return to my bed at length? For where have you spent the long hours of the night, you that once were mine, worn out now as the stars are put away? O oh, you, unjust and cruel to me in my misery, I wish you... All the same that you endlessly offer me on nights such as these. Why, just now I was staving off sleep, deceiving slumber, weaving the purple thread, and again, wearied at the sound of Orpheus's lyre, I was moaning gently to myself, alone for you, delayed so long and so often by a stranger's love until at last sleep compelled me to sink beneath his delightful wing, those were my final thoughts amongst these tears. Making this recording in reverse order, uh, that was my translation. Here is a uh, best rendition of the original. Again, this is uh, Propertius, Elegies, uh, Book 1, Number 3. Qualis tese aquits, cadente carina, languida desertis gnosi ali toribus, qualis et acubuit primo che fei rasomno, um, libra iam durus quetibus andromede. Nec minus assidui, sed donis fessa correis, Qualis in erboso concidit apidano, talis visa mi mollem spirare quietem quintea, 
concertis nix a capa, caput minibus, manibus. Ebria cum multo traherem vestigiam bacco, et quateren sere nocte facem pueri, hanc ego. Nanduet iam sensus de perditus omnis, muliter impresso con ora di retoro. Et quam vis duplici corrept arbore iuberent, hac amor, hac liber, durus uterque deus, subiecto leuiter positam temptare lacertu, oscula quad mota sum retarde mano. Non tamen ausus eram dominae turbare qui etem, expertu ai metoens iuriae saevitia. Sed sic intentis ai rebam fixus ocellis, argus ut gnotis cornibus inacidos. Et modo solvebam nostra de fronte corollas, ponebam quetuis quinte a temporibus. Et modo gaude bam lapsos formare capillos, nunc fortive gaudis poma da bam manibus. Omnia qua ingrato largi var munera somno, munerate prono saepe voluta sino. Et quotiens raro duxti suspiria motu obstipui, va no credulus auspicio. Ne qua tib in solitos portarent visa timores, ne vequis in vitam cogeret esse suam. Donec diversas praecurens luna fenestras, luna moraturus, sedula luminibus, compositos levibus radiis, patefeg et ocellos. Sic aet, in moli fixa toro cubitum. Tandem te nostro referens in iuria lecto, alterius clausus expulite foribus, namque ubi longae meae consumpsti tempora noctis, languidus exactis ei mi sideribus, uti nam talis perducas improbe noctis, me miseram qualis semper abere iubes. Nam modo purpureo falebam stamina somnum, rusus et orpeiae carmina fesse lirae. Interdum leviter, mecum deserte querebar, externo lange saepina more moras. Dum me iucundis lassam sopr impulit alis, illa fuit lacrimis, ultima cura mei. So, a little poem that's over two millennia old, but, you know, it, it, it is uh, timeless and universal in, in the story that it tells. And I feel that, topically, that could have been written, you know, about any modern relationship. Except he references slaves, which isn't very cool, you know, at the beginning of it. Anyhow, um, if you enjoyed that, thank you for watching. And let me know if you want to see more um, interpretations, and I might even talk a little about some poetry. Stay well, stay healthy, be well, friends. Walete, amike, amici, gratias, sic semper pro spectantibus.